Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Veronica. So just before I carry on, there's a lot of background noise here. I've got thunderstorms going on and family is making supper. So I have decided to do a deep clean on the lounge or TV room or family room, whatever you want to call it. My biggest complaint was the couch. It was so dirty, I didn't even want to sit on it anymore. So I hired a upholstery cleaner and I decided to tackle that. And as I went around, I found some other more disgusting surprises that I didn't realize because they're all hidden. So I tackled underneath the window. The cat crawls in with his dirty paw, so he left very dirty marks on the wall over there. I tackled the um, painting over here at the top. There is, it was very dusty, so I had to do some delicate work, but you'll find out later it wasn't as delicate as what I wanted it to be. And then the furniture needed to be polished, so I tackled that as well. So without further ado, oh, and then behind the couch. There was also quite a lot of dirt and mess behind the couch from outside, you know, the leaves and what have you, and there was a cat smell. Strangely enough, we didn't really smell it when we were here, but as soon as I moved that couch, there was a cat smell. And it's not our cat, because um, our cat doesn't mark the any territory and what have you. He's um, been neutered, so he doesn't do that. So I don't know whose cat it was, but they came and they made a smell. So I tackled that as well. And um, that is as much as I could handle in one day. And please join me. Um, so please also before I go, let you go, please can you subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like these and give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it so that I know which videos to play next. Thank you. So this is just the view of the lounge. It doesn't look too messy. But when you come in, it actually looks a lot worse at a close up. That's the couch with all its very messy marks and grime and there's nothing specific it's just day-to-day -day wear and dirt that you see over there and some more and this is on the three-seater in front of the window So behind the curtain over there you see the dirty cat paw prints coming from the garden. So I started off with a quick vacuum just to get my mood going and it always refreshes the whole room. And I also vacuumed the couches before I started with the upholstery cleaner. Shake 
So I'm just going over some spots with a sponge and some laundry cleaner. There's some stubborn marks that just won't come out and this will lighten the um, spots a little bit. So I used a lint roller to get the, remove the dust from the top of the picture. 
um, but as I was going on I could actually see a little bit of tiny specks of paint that came off um, and but a lot of dirt a lot of dirt came off but there were a few specks of paint and it, it horrified me that that came off um, most of the time if when I use a duster I dust just the front part and not the top part but I know to in order to get the really hard dust a lint roller is usually the best I'm mixing one part olive oil and one part white vinegar. This is my go-to furniture polish. It is so economical and it works brilliantly. It actually works better than any of the other furniture polishes I've ever used before. Um, it takes, it removes the marks and the ugly stains and what have you. And it also gives a beautiful shine. So this is the end result of the extreme deep clean lounge, TV room, family room, whatever you want to call it. Um, it is deep clean because I went behind the scenes and it looks and feels so much more fresher. Um, I, f I feel as though it has actually been deep clean. The couches look amazing. And thank you so much for stopping by. Please like and subscribe and take care.